I like adventures. Oh, this is my friend's car. Guys, this is phenomenal. Oh my God. So guys, look at this treat. This is gonna be great. Amazing view. What could be the price of a place like this in Armenia? It's freezing. Don't pay for water. <laughs> the adventure begins, guys. Barlos, how are you? <laughs> Very good, guys. This is Suren. I spent the whole night practicing his name because I kept getting it wrong. Let me tell you how we met. Interesting little story. So guys, the other day when I arrived, I've gone to the supermarket. I've met Suren here. Now I say this time and time again, the best part for me about YouTube, it's not the travel, I do that anyway. It's not the adventures. What I do on camera, believe me, I do a lot worse off camera. But the best part for me has always been meeting the people. And he met me in a supermarket with a couple of his friends and said, are you Justin? Next thing you know, we're having beers together. And he was kind enough to say, you know what? On Sunday, why don't I show you something? And I'm like, sure, why not? I'm up for it. So what are we going to see today? What do you think? What do you see, that's the thing. I like adventures. adventures. So you're deciding. I need to be back by six o'clock. So guys, when he suggested where we go, I got super excited. So excited, I called up Dave's and said to him, Get ready because we're gonna see something magical. This is gonna be great. I've wanted to see this place for the longest of times. So I'm gonna show you a lovely scenery and then I think you'll be impressed. So guys, you saw that building right there. This is well, what's on the left here is the old part of Yerevan, the old town, and it's known as Kont. We're gonna drive through Kont now. The American University of Armenia. My friend here, Suren, just pointed out the American University of Armenia, and he's an academic himself. He's a mathematician, programmer, studying for his PhD, his doctorate. And why why does America have such a big university here? Is it an American university or is it just called the American no, no, no. University? It's uh, American University. So he's just telling me that he spent some time in uh, California and in Vegas, right? And he's telling me about the Kirk Kikoyan hotels he was staying in. And so finish your story, go on. I think it's being Armenian and see how your fellow Armenians, fellow Armenians do in Vegas. And it's impressive, it's impressive isn't it? Yeah. It's very impressive. You like to gamble? No. No, no. no it's not my thing either. But when you're in Vegas, it's hard not to gamble because they do it in a way so as you just like sucked in, right? So he's telling me about Armenia, how Armenia, it was... Very small country, but it's a different climate. In north we have forests and deserts like here we have. And, I mean, that's from a natural perspective, but architecturally it's amazing too. You have some architectures here that are just like ancient, amazing place. So the weirdest thing guys, we're driving along and he says, oh, this is my friend's car. This must be his house. That's how small and intimate Armenia is. And we've been invited inside. So the adventure begins, guys. We've been invited in for coffee. Ask, ask your, your friend if it's okay if I, re if I record. It's okay if I record? Merci. Wow, so they're building this new place, huh? It's gonna be like a, they're gonna live here or it's a holiday home? No, no, for a holiday home. Bathroom. 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 Nice. So this is the gonna be the bathroom. Why is it? Is it? Oh, they, no, they do. They're building it. Maritis. Hello. <laughs> you have a beautiful home, tell her. It's not finished yet, of course, but it's going to be beautiful. You can see already. Summer home. Dacha. 
Вы на русском говорите? А, а, русский. 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 Я тоже чуть-чуть. Ой, ну красиво будет, да? Вау, look how beautiful this garden is. Look at this, guys. What a cool holiday home to have, you know? Your own little bit of paradise in Armenia. Ah, oh, guys, this is phenomenal. I'm curious now how much a place like this could cost. What could be the price of a place like this in Armenia? $60,000. Dollars. Ah, маленький. Здесь большой балкон сделали. Ой, какой вид у вас просто супер. Джеки Чан, the guy from the movie. Джеки Чан. О, Джеки Чан. Guys, apologies to all you Armenians. I don't want to sound ignorant, but it's not Джеки Чан, it's Чеки Чан. Чеки Чан. Чеки Чан. Actually, right now, I'm going to look for his music and I'll play you a little bit whilst we're showing you this amazing view. The, the telescope, you can see it from here. Guys, there's a laser in the mountains over there. I don't know if you can see it in the distance. Вечером вы говорите, что это просто рай здесь, да? Как долго вы этот ремонт делаете? За два месяца. И сколько осталось? Ну, пару Мало, да? Пару дней, да? да? Это все вы делаете? Нет, рабочий. А, рабочий, поэтому говорю. Там а, бригаде есть. А... Да, я говорю, Они это делают. слишком много для один человек. Фрукты у вас это что? Да, это, это вишни. Вишни, да. О, как раз ну, сезон для вишни. Сколько пол осталось? Сколько пол, да? Да. Это история. Да. Это, по-моему, советский, да? О, ты... Лет, наверное, ну, 60-70 лет. Красота. Здесь и спальни? Здесь, здесь, Можно? Да, конечно. О, я все это обожаю. Даже кроватки тоже. Look at these guys. 60-year-old beds and closets. It's much cooler in this room. Даже не жарко. На улице 40 градусов. Внутри не жарко. Приятно. Поздравляю. Молодцы. Спасибо. Даже нарди у вас есть, там да. вижу. Да. Это самый главный. Тоже оригинальный, да? Really cool, guys. How often do you get to experience that? I hear in Armenia it's quite common though to get invited into people's houses, you know, especially if, as foreigners loving it. I think they're making us coffee, which is perfect right now. Dying for a cup. I haven't had one yet today. Even this house, guys, has the old-fashioned tuf. Well, it's not old-fashioned in in Armenia, but honestly speaking, in the West where I come from, they don't build like this anymore. It's just phenomenal. And it's never just coffee, guys, in Armenia. The hospitality is beyond belief. They pulling out treats and they're, they're preparing coffee. The good Armenian coffee, Russian coffee, I love Armenia. Look at these blackberries, guys. I used to pick blackberries when I was a kid. My granny had them in her garden. But these are massive. Can you take one? I just want to show. Look at these blackberries, guys. They're absolutely massive. And they're probably picked here. Oh, and sweet. Mate, taste that. Have one. That is gorgeous. That is the sweetest blackberry I've ever had. Oh my god. Mm. That's actually gorgeous, isn't it? And it's cold and refreshing. Yeah. It's like that is the best blackberry I've ever had. Oh my god, great. How phenomenal is this, guys? I know you're supposed to wait, but I saw those blackberries and I just figured, you know what? That's the biggest blackberry I've ever seen. Thank you for this experience, my friend. How cool is this? Bringing us on this trip, driving past, he sees a car and he says, Oh, I think this is my friend's car. <laughs> Next thing you know, we're having blackberries, fruits, coffee. I don't know. This, to me, this is the best part of traveling, is what's happening right now. These fine folk are not Suren's friends. They're the parents of his friends. And he just called saying that he's on his way now. So on the way back to Yerevan from our adventure, to stop by and say hello and we get a double dose of hospitality, which is great. Guys, the things are just coming out and there's loads of things here that I've never experienced or tried. If I have, not the local ones. So guys, look at this treat. I mean, some of my favorite fruits, figs, for sure. Traditionally, you open a fig because you can often get a little surprise in there that's wiggling around. 
So I always like to Did open my pork? figs. Oh, these are like honey. These are amazing. From Edge Man Singh. He's from his garden. Ah, it's, it's from his garden yeah. over there, yeah? Watermelon. Love watermelon. It's so juicy and sweet. Is the watermelon grown in uh, in Armenia? It's local watermelon, yeah? How the big so bag. Good. You don't know what you're missing. If you're buying your summer fruit this year from any supermarket, you don't know what you're missing because this is just amazing. Soren here served two years in the military over at the border, right? His friend that's actually here was actually his officer, you yeah. said, yeah? So what was your... What was your Sergeant, Corporal? I'm a Sergeant. Oh. Uh, star, uh, star, she's Sergeant. And my friend is uh, Lieutenant. Guys, this is the uh, most popular water in Armenia. There's an actual city called Jermuk, or a town, where the water comes from. I'm hoping I'll get a chance to visit there. If not, Armenia, I promise you, this is not my last trip. So, <laughs> if I don't do all the places you guys recommend, be patient, I will. Guys, these cookies are phenomenal. They got a caramel filling. The cookie outside is like a, what they call in Russian, a prianik, with a chocolate base. Amazing. Спасибо большое. Очень приятно было. Ваша жена где? Let's say goodbye to the lady. Спасибо вам большое. Очень приятно было. Я вас благодарю. А, не надо? Guys, they even have spring water running. <laughs> it's freezing. It's natural water. Non-stop. It's flat. It's Oh, super. <laughs> Could you imagine having a natural spring flowing through your garden? It's amazing. See you showed us. Thank you. So, Ren, thank you so much for this experience. It was fantastic. This is what I love about traveling without a plan. When you travel without a plan, this is what happens. You know what impressed me the most? The flowing water. The flowing water into the garden that don't stop. There's no water bill in this country. You don't pay for water. <laughs> It's crazy. But for me, it's my um, most amazing in German. <laughs> that I see beer is half dollar or one uh, euro, or, but water is more expensive. Water is more expensive <laughs> than beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for someone from Armenia, the idea of paying for water must be something uh, completely alien. I mean, the water companies in Armenia must not make very much money. So guys, I struggled to uh, to get my head around the idea of this free water. No water bill. You walk down the main street on a hot summer's day, you have water fountains everywhere. You know, the stores, like a day like yesterday, I was walking down, much thought. Everybody's stopping at the fountains. The stores could have made a killing selling water. They just don't. They just don't because it's free for all. And it's amazing.